Hi, in this video we'll talk about LED and laser diodes. So LED and laser diodes, both of them are PN junction diodes, right? But they are slightly different from a regular PN junction diode. So first we'll talk about what an LED diode is, right? So LED by the name you have also uh, maybe guessed what LED is. You must have also uh, used it in maybe in for your Diwali lights or maybe for your Christmas lights, right? So LED stands for light emitting diode right and by the name light emitting diode you must have guessed that it emits light right so led is a pn junction diode which emits light which means that when you supply it with electricity the electricity gets converted into light right so that is what it does it converts electrical energy into light energy or light so it is a heavily doped pn junction and the process on which the light can be emitted is by recombination of holes and electrons right so what happens is you take a led its circuit symbol is like this a regular pn junction with two arrows which signifies that uh, maybe light is radiating so this is the circuit symbol for an led and you operate it under forward bias right so that is important to note here is that leds are operated under forward bias so we operate it under forward bias means that we attach our plus uh, positive side of the cell to the P and the negative side of the cell to the N side of the uh, LED right and then what we do is after we applied forward bias the uh, because of that potential that the cell created the holes in the P side and the electrons in the N side they start to recombine right so they start to come together they start to recombine and as soon as they recombine a lot of energy is uh, emitted right so uh, because of the recombination of holes and electrons when we have applied forward bias this energy is radiated and this energy which is radiated or emitted is in the form of photons right so this energy is the form in is radiated in the form of photons and if that uh, wavelength of that photons lies in our visible range or maybe within the range of Wibgeor then we can see the different colors of an LED right so maybe we can see red yellow orange and so on right blue LEDs so that is the basic principle of it because of uh, recombination there is a very spontaneous emission of lot of photons which we can even see from our eyes and then we see that we say that this LED is glowing right so we can uh, see the colors of an LED so this process which I just told you about is known as spontaneous emission so the photons that are emitted are emitted spontaneously right so it is a spontaneous emission to note here that the photons that are emitted are very spontaneous and which we can see right and so LED has its colors and the light the wavelength of the light if you talk about the light firstly it is a divergent light and secondly it is incoherent light so both of these terms uh, firstly divergent light means that it would diverge right so these photons would eventually diverge and secondly incoherent means that they won't be in a phase in a phase i'll tell you how so firstly if i just want to talk about this divergent so divergent means that if this is light uh, one ray of light this would be the other this would be the other and so on right so you can see that the light is diverging and that is the case of an led the light diverges and incoherent means that let us say this was one light wave right now if i again make this light wave same but in this direction you will say yeah uh, this light is diverging but incoherent means that it is out of phase which means that it is not necessary for the other light wave to have a peak and then a crest and then a peak and then a valley right so it, it is not necessary the other light is also starting from a peak it might happen that the other wave starts from a valley and then peak and then valley right so it can happen or maybe it can happen that the other wave is starting from the topmost position which means that it would it would be like this so all of these waves are out of phase because they are not st starting from the peak and then valley and the peak and the valley right so this is what generally out of phase means and this is what an incoherent light means right so that is the kind of light that our light emitting diode produces now let us talk about our laser diode 
right so laser also the term you must have a uh, listener you must have known about this laser means light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so this is what laser stands for and in this case also you'll see that it is light amplification by stimulated emission so here also some emission is going on and radiation is being emitted right so it also emits radiation so if you supply, supply it uh, electricity it would also radiate right so it may or may not be the case that we are able to see that radiation we might see the radiation some colors maybe in the red uh, red color but it is not necessary right so lasers uh, is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so they are somewhat similar to led diodes in the way that they will also emit uh, some radiation as led does uh, in the case of LED, we can see the radiation because it lies in our uh, visible areas, but it may or may not be the case of a laser diode. It converts electricity into a radiation, right? So now let us talk about how a laser works. So the circuit diagram for a laser or a circuit symbol of a laser is like this, right? So it has a circle in it as well and it is also operated under forward bias. So this is also interesting to note here that it is also an operated under forward bias and it looks like this. So in the case of a laser diode, what happens is that it, the process is similar till the recombination of holes and electrons, right? So you have supplied it some forward bias because of that holes and electrons in PN and respectively, they start to recombine and because they are now recombining, what is happening is photons will be released because of that energy. So the energy released due to the recombination would emit radiations or photons, right? So that is the case similar to till here, right? Now what happens in the case of a laser diode, we our emission is stimulated. Stimulated means that we take that photon and we hit it to an atom, right? We took the photon, we hit it in some atom inside our uh, laser diode and what it did was because the atom, uh, because the photon hit that atom, another photon emitted, was emitted from that atom, right? Now both of these photons would hit more atoms and more photons would emit from those atoms, right? And this continues. Uh, this con uh, started uh, starts to continue and this is the process that we call is stimulated emission right so in this case it is not spontaneous emission it is stimulated emission right so it was similar uh, in a way till led till the radiation of a photon but now those photons are hitting atoms and they are emitting more uh, photons right so because this uh, uh, photon hits an atom which emits another photon both of these photons first of all uh, would be in the same direction right and secondly uh, they would be in the same phase right so that means that in the case of a laser diode the light is not divergent it is firstly monochromatic monochromatic means that uh, they uh, they all will have same wavelength right and secondly uh, they'll all have the same direction as well right and they won't be out of phase so they would be coherent as well which means that if i try to draw the wavelength for a case of a laser diode it would come out like this is uh, let us say my first wavelength so my second would come out as like this and maybe my third would come out as like this so in also the case, you can see that firstly the direction is constant, so the direction is this direction. So uh, it is firstly, uh, it is not divergent, it is in the same direction, right, focused it is. Secondly, it is not out of phase because every wave has a peak first and then a valley and then a peak and then a valley. So it is coherent, not incoherent because every wave is in phase, right. So that is uh, the basic difference between an LED and a laser diode is that uh, both of their emissions are different both of the kind of the radiations they produce are different in the case right more differences between an led and a laser diode may be that leds are cheaper than laser diodes that is why we use in our homes as well uh, and they are commercially used widely used commercially but lasers are not that widely used commercially uh, both of them have very uh, fast on and off switching right so if you switch on and off them uh, switch them on and off they'll uh, uh, instantly produce light right 
but the case of led is that led are a little slower than lasers right so low, uh, lasers have higher switching on and off capacity uh, leds require uh, less power than uh, lasers to operate right so led uh, requires less power but lasers require more power because we have to do our simulated emission in, in this case as well uh, so these are the general basic differences between an led and a laser diode and the basic uh, difference between in the working principle is that after the recombinations of holes and electrons uh, in the case of an led the emission is spontaneous so the photons just radiate and we can see them but in the case of a laser diode those photons are again hit upon any atom of the pn junction and it again radiates more photons which hits atoms and more uh, photons are radiated which is called a stimulated emission right so this was our led and laser diodes